Hi, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Abbey Research Reads. I am Dr. Kristen Donnelly, and today I am talking about a very interesting book called Unfollow. It is by Megan Phelps Roper, who is the granddaughter of Fred Phelps, who is the founder of the Westboro Baptist Church. Because we are talking right now in Abbey Research History about religious diversity and how we can encounter that within office spaces, but also just the planet, and how do we kind of interact with people whose belief systems or institutional affiliations don't jive with ours. And one of the ways that I would most recommend doing that is exercises of empathy building and kind of taking opportunities like this book allows to hear people's side of their story, I guess. Um, this is particularly interesting because Megan has left the church and is not the only one that has. There's a lot of other memoirs, not a lot, but there are a few other memoirs of, of members of Westboro that have left. There are lots of scholars that have studied Westboro and have tried to figure out what's going on. And so there's not like a necessarily absence of coverage about Westboro, but this one to me, and I've read a lot of them, I'll be honest, because adherence to religious movements is a particular interest of mine, if you couldn't tell. Um, and Westboro is a particularly academically interesting case, but this, I mean, this is just so, authentic is so overused, I recognize, but that's what this book is. Megan walks you through some of her earliest memories. This is what it was like to grow up in this space. This is the things I was proud of for us doing when I did them. And for those of us who grew up in movements we are not part of anymore, and I include myself, I grew up evangelical and I no longer identify um, that way. There's a real tendency to kind of rewrite your own history and say that you were maybe ashamed of something at the time that you're ashamed of now. And Megan does none of that. She is just like, this is what I believed then. And I'm not going to apologize for it because this is what I believed then. And here's my evolution. It is a, a kind book in a, in a space where there's not a lot of kindnesses. It's also a quick read. I mean, she's a good writer. She was their communications director when she was a part of them. Um, there's a little bit about, there's a little bit of a dip, like she is now married to a man that she met essentially through Instagram and Twitter comments, Twitter conversations when she was with Westboro. And he's kind of part of why she left. Um, and the way she chooses to tell that story was not quite as compelling to me as I, as it may have been to others for, I don't quite know the reason, but it was just kind of like every time we started talking about her Twitter friend, I wasn't quite as interested, which is strange because for me, romance is like, catnip but it just didn't grab me what did grab me um was that i mean the subtitle of this is a memoir of loving and leaving the westboro baptist church and that's exactly what this is it is unflinching as to how much she loved it and it is unflinching as to how hard it was to leave and the process of rebuilding her life afterwards i honestly can't recommend it highly enough um so it's unfollow by megan phelps roper and this is your abby research recommended read for religious diversity